What's happening humans? Are we all Ben? Today I'm going to be making my first ever review video on my vlog. These review videos are going to be as simple and common as they can get. I am not going to get into technicalities. It's going to be like a layman reviewing a particular product. So it's going to be whether is it worth the price that you're paying? Is it a useful product? Is it really necessary that you need to buy it? And if there is a better alternative, what is it? So let's get into it. My first review video is going to be of the milkshake brand, which is shaking up the country, Keventers. I think exactly two weeks back was the first time I ever tried out Keventers. When they opened a new store in Jayanagar Fourth Block, Bangalore in the High Street Mall. I had purchased the bubblegum shake and Arpita purchased the blueberry shake, I guess. We were very excited to taste the milkshake that everybody had been raving about. But sadly, some things that are overhyped don't really live up to the expectations. I posted it on Facebook and a lot of my friends were completely agreeing to everything that I was saying about the milkshake. There were like two or three guys who asked me to try out the hazelnut and they said that, you know, that's, that's the best one to try actually. Let's go get hazelnut milkshake and I'm going to do a live review while I drink it. Awesome. Let's go get some Keventers, huh? From my house, probably Keventers is about like five, ten minutes. He's just riding on the bike and the belt tore off and my camera bag fell on the road. Thank you, Canon. hate when, you know, camera companies come up with such shitty bags i hope nothing's happened to the camera i guess the camera is fine it seems to be working fine so let's just go get some keventers this is the back end of keventers and this is the high street mall i got a bad feeling about this Check this place out. Hey, can I get this hazelnut uh, milkshake? Is it? How much is it? Two twenty nine rupees. Two twenty nine rupees, inclusive of tax. They said it must be there in five minutes. Let's just check if Kevin just does live up to its name. Huh? Okay, alright. I'm sitting with three people over here. Uh, Avi, Vandana and Hush, they are having Keventers and uh, Avi was eating something but he stopped eating because I was going to film him. <laughs> what do you guys think of Keventers, like honestly? Uh, the best shake, 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 yeah. Shakes are yeah. very good? Yeah. They're very good. So they're very good. What, what, what are you drinking? I'm drinking uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Mint Oreo. Mint Oreo. Have you guys tasted all the three? Yeah. yeah. So which do you rate the best? Chocolate. Mint Oreo. <laughs> okay, they're actually fighting, alright? So I had bubblegum last time and I did not enjoy it. So today I want to make a video drinking hazelnut. So I just want to know if you guys are drinking hazelnut, but you guys not. The lady likes mint Oreo. Avi likes, uh, Avi and Hirsch likes chocolate chip. What do you guys think about the price? It's reasonable. For the quality, it's reasonable. For the quality, it's reasonable. So these guys are the rich kids. Not the quality, the quality is reasonable. It's worth paying. It's worth paying. So. They just said that. <laughs> yes. Harsh had something to say honestly. Uh, honestly, if you're looking at the quantity, then it's overpriced. But if you're looking at the quality of shakes that you get in Bangalore, I guess it's worth it. Uh, hazelnut? Is it ready? Is it ready? Uh, do you have a cover? No? Okay. Then I have a cover, I got the chocolate hazelnut. Uh, so these guys have this nice quotes on uh, every cap. This says, this milkshake is what dreams are made of. Let's put that to a test. Enjoy your shake. Nice meeting you. 
Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Enjoy. 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 Bye bye. I'm actually scared right now to try this <laughs> lot. I'm back. Those guys were really sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Avi, Vandana, and Hirsch for saying something about the Kevin Tiz. I'm sure your review also will be taken very seriously by the viewers. Let's get into it. I got the hazelnut, the ones which uh, my friends were asking me to try. What does it cost? Wait, I, I got, I got a favorite hazelnut is around 229 rupees, inclusive of tax. For that, you get the straw. And you get this very, very cool bottle over here. Shall we? <clears throat> that tastes like Compline with, with chocolate. I hated Compline. Okay then, now I finally, finally had hazelnut choco milkshake. Now there are a lot of people who have tried their hand at these kind of shakes and one of them, I had their milkshake first even before Keventer's, uh, the same bubblegum flavor and I loved it. I really, really loved it. And they were called as, uh, they were called as the Health Juice Center. I guess these guys are in Belandur. They, they are very inexpensive. They're not that expensive. And also their taste was amazing. The balance of the sugar, the milk, as well as the flavor was very good. And that's what is lacking in Keventer's. Their marketing has been done absolutely right. Keventer's marketing team, and I'm a marketing guy. I love how brands go out there and make themselves be visible to the masses. And I love it how Keventer's is done. This bottle, this glass bottle is very good. I love the shape of it definitely is uh, very classic. These guys have done a really good marketing play. You know, they, they try to attract all the right crowd. The age segment that they've targeted is very good because all of us use social media right now. All of us have smartphones. We are going to snap it. We're going to Instagram it. Definitely it's going to happen. So these guys have done a really good job in that sense. Their taste probably needs work, but that's my opinion, guys. This is a layman opinion. One guy with a camera on a YouTube channel is saying this. I'm not saying I'm a food expert. I definitely am not. I don't know what to look for in a milkshake, but I do know one thing that, you know, the balance is everything. The flavor, milk, and sugar. The balance is everything. It's a pretty old brand. Say they, they, they put it over here saying that since 1925. I'm sure somebody's taken up the responsibility to grow a brand which has been there for so long and try to bring something new into the market. I love that about Indian businessmen. When you already have a product, instead of going and doing something else, how could you develop that product? And in a country like India, we definitely need more businessmen who will excel already existing products or develop already existing products. So in that way, I give it to Keventus. I'm a marketing guy. I love it. Your branding is done right. I like your flavors. I mean, you guys have got like really good flavors over here. I'm having chocolate hazelnut. I can say it's a bit better than bubblegum or a luscious blueberry. Everything is 200 bucks. Oh no, there's classic shakes. There's classic shakes over here at 150 rupees. Yeah, for a milkshake, it does seem a little expensive. This definitely is a rich person's milkshake. If you see your friends snapping this or putting this on Instagram stories, you will know that they're rich. Oh, by the way, guys, for people who are quitting smoking, this is a great drink to have because once you taste this, you definitely don't want to put anything else in your mouth. Nope. Uh, I mean to say you don't want to smoke at all because it's, it's really, it's really bad. So drink a lot of water after this. So Kevin does final thoughts. Is it worth it? I absolutely don't think so. 200 bucks is a lot of money for uh, milkshakes. I think it's a little overpriced. Unless if you're rich. Is it okay if you skip Kevin Ter's milkshake? <laughs> Definitely, yes. If you have 200 bucks, go buy yourself a biryani. My name is Sai Sandesh Markham, reminding you that even though you don't have a good product, market it well so that people will go crazy over it. it does not need to be a 100% perfect product. It could be even 60 or 70% and people will still buy it because the way you're selling it matters. And definitely that would apply for Keventers. And uh, cheers guys, I will see you on the next one.
I got a bad feeling about this. Why is it so sweet? I can't believe I spent 200 bucks on this. You know how many biryanis and kebabs I could have got for this? Is there a refund if I go back there and vomit the entire thing? It's a genuine question, no?